Look at what Nolan found at an estate sale. I just noticed this. I'm, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Nolan and I went to a concert last night. His friend Bank, B-A-Y-N-K, was performing and they were so good. It's also funny because he's coming over tonight and like his bandmates, I believe, and his friends are coming over to play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Nolan plays with his friends, okay? It's, it's, just, it's just what they do. But it was very funny watching him on stage and like everyone freaking out. And he literally was giving me like Maddie Healy vibes. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but just really tall and lanky and just like super dancey. Um, and I was like, all these girls are freaking out and they don't even know they're coming over to our house tomorrow <laughs> to play Magic the Gathering. Like, that's very funny. I put on mascara for the first time yesterday since I got my tint and lift and wow, I mean, it's crazy. I have Pilates in a little bit and then I need to go to Urban after and return something. I made kind of a dumb purchase. Well, it's not a dumb purchase, but I saw Awala started making these like sip things that like, you can put coffee in and they're just like to-go coffee whatever and like i already own two like that and i just you know the capitalism in me was like i need this right now and so i ordered it i mean it was only 25 dollars, so it's not like i spent that much money on it but um i got it and i was just like i need to return this because like first of all when am i ever going to use this and also like i just bought it because i saw it and it was like shiny and cute like no i need to stop doing that no more water bottles. I already kind of make fun of like the water bottle epidemic because it's like, what are we doing? We're just old babies now with our babas. Like we need our babas everywhere. I just bring water with you everywhere. That's makes sense. But it, to be honest, like I would make fun of people in high school that brought water everywhere. Like you just can't go an hour without water. <laughs> it feels really mean. But when I was in high school, I was just like, I don't get it. Especially because if I drank more water than I normally did, I have to pee in every class and I'd be like, there's no point because I don't, like, teachers don't let you, whatever, it's, it's prison. Let's pick out our Pilates fit, shall we? Here, I'll let you see into the drawer a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, well, we'll wear this. I love this guy. This is that one that's new for me. Someone gave it, a Pilates instructor gave it to me because it just didn't fit her very well and I love the bag, it's so freaking cute. Okay, my hospital grippy socks. Am I crazy that I wanna like purchase more of these because I just love the grippiness? And like, yes, I have Pilates socks, but these are way cozier. Why do I have a Juicy Couture bikini top in here? Like, yes, I wanna wear gray, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous that I'll swamp ass everywhere. And should I be nervous about that? No, it's normal, but like, what brand is this even? Oh, it's the fake Lulu that I'm obsessed with, that's why. I just know I'm gonna be sweating in this class because it's a heart teacher, so I need, Black. Well, we're just gonna be full free people today because these are both free people movement. And my instructor also works there. So I think this is hers. I think this is where this originated from. I'm almost positive. But she works for like their, I think their marketing team. I mentioned I finished the bell jar in my last vlog and I have started our book club book, which is Rock, Paper, Scissors. And so far it's so good. It's a thriller that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna uh, be addicted to this. Yep. I've been reading it every night before bed and like, I can't put it down. Um, it's got some like weirdness to it where I'm like, okay, but why would you, like, why would you, mm, I don't really understand why would you do that, um, but not my place, not my place to judge. Oh, also when we were at the concert last night, they, I don't know what's gotten into me. I was like very anxious yesterday already. I don't know why I felt like, does anyone ever feel really restless in their own body? Like, I feel like I need to like clench every muscle, like at all times. Like, I don't know what that is. And like, it's kind of freaking me out because I'm like, is it neurological? I don't know, but it happens really randomly to me. And then I think it happens for like a brief couple minutes and then I get anxiety and then I feel like I have it longer, if that makes sense. Anyways, so I was feeling that way before the show already, okay? We get to the, pl we get to the place and we go through security and I have my taser in my bag. I didn't even know it was in there. And of course they take it away and they're like, you have to throw this away. And I was like, okay. I was, I don't know why I was so bummed, even though it's like a $10 taser from Amazon. But I was just like, I literally was throwing it away and I was like, I can't just like, and here's why, and here's why it didn't make sense because I also had this camera in my bag, which I also didn't realize and I had to like check it in. And that made me so nervous because I was like, what if I lose this camera or like something happens? Why can't, also why can't I put the taser with this camera? I have to throw it away. And so there's this like younger girl working and I was like, can I just like put it with the camera? She's like, no, I'm so sorry. Like we have to throw it. And I was like, well, what if I was walking to my car after this? Like, it's not a good part of town. I was like, what if I had to walk to my car after this? Like it's, you know, it helps. And she was like, I know, I'm so sorry. And I was like, okay. So they took it, threw it away. And then 
I checked my camera in. And also, they didn't tell me, but they like locked my camera away. And they're like, can you tap your phone? And I go, um, for what? And I did it. And they're like, to pay. And I go, wait. And I went, Tleet. and I go, how much was that? And she goes, five dollars. And I was like, what? Why didn't I don't like? It's fine, but like, can you tell me before? I'm not weird. Anyway, but for some reason, I felt like I was gonna cry. <laughs> like I was a whole victim in this. I feel like Tana Mojo. Like I'm making this like such a bigger deal than like it is, but like it is. it was to me at the moment. But anyways, the show was good, and then we left. And then as we were leaving, the girl who took the taser literally ran up to me with it. And she was like, I found it. Like, I grabbed it for you because I saw you. And I was like, huh? And she was like, I know how important safety is. Like, I, I just saw you and I remembered you. I had to throw this away for you. And I literally gave her a hug. I was like, that is so nice. I was just like, you're a literal stranger and you're so sweet. Like, it literally, it genuinely made my night and possibly my entire week. Just a simple, sweet thing like that. I was like... And I know it's like a $10 taser. It's shitty plastic taser probably. I don't know, but it's my favorite little thing and it's hot pink and I love it. It was literally my last vlog. So that's my story time. <laughs> the security that effed me with a toothbrush. Tana, I love you. I know you're not watching this, but I do love you. And I think you're hilarious. I'm not making fun of you, okay. It's kind of cold. It's like 60 something outside right now. It was literally like the perfect 60 something degree. Long, long sleeve to wear, it's from Skims. I love you, Bubba. I wonder if Buttercup is still sleeping in the closet. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, I'm sorry. This is where she is. So this is the closet. Hello, hi. She's just on a little shelf. <laughs> okay, this is Setawala. I. It's so cute though. Like, I don't want to return it. I might not use it, but I'm so dumb. So stupid. This is so stupid. I need to return this. I don't know, but it does fit. It's pretty great. Oh, don't look at my poppy. <laughs> my old poppy. Holy crap, I'm hungry. All right, I'm going to Pilates. I'll chat with y'all later. Well, you guys, I'm being so brave right now. I am at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I am going to return the Owala, okay? Here we are. What is this brat shirt? Like, really? They're selling a brat shirt? <laughs> you could make that so easy. I gotta make sure I have some receipt first. Oh my god, my phone's stuck. Hello. Okay, here we go. You guys, what if they just give me store credit? Then what? Then what? I don't know. I just have, like, the order confirmation. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Was that Charlie XCX? Just watch my <laughs> All right, I did it. I really didn't think I was going to. Like, I really thought I was just gonna be like, you know what, we'll just keep this stupid little wall and just keep it in the cabinet for no reason. And girl math, like, I just made $25, kind of. So, I mean, the day is mine. <laughs> you guys, my sleep score is so bad. It was like 50 something. When it's like 70 or above, that's great. I mean, 80 and above is great, 70's fine, 60's bad, 50's bad, 40's terrible. Mine was... 59. Pay attention. It says, pay attention. I got Jersey Mike's. I was so hungry. Like I said, I was going to throw up after Pilates. So I grabbed Jersey Mike's and I inhaled half the sandwich right in the parking lot. I was also glaring at these guys because they were in a truck and they took up two spots. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And it's kind of awkward because like I kept being like snotty to them, but then we both walked into Jersey Mike's and I was like, well, now this is awkward. People are just so annoying. Where are you going to park your car directly over the parking line? Like, middle of the parking line. Like, you're an ass. Okay, I'm working on OnlyFriends right now. And you know the commenters? <laughs> the commenters who don't like the angles? You may have won, you may have won this round. Because I think Aaron's angle was compromised. I'm trying to fix it, but I don't know if there's any real fixing it. So you may have won the battle, but you have not won the war. <laughs> oh look, you can kind of see the like, whoa. I'm really thinking of growing my hair. I'm not sure why, I'm just a little tired of the bob. And I wish I wasn't because the growth period is going to be very annoying. Like it just hitting my shoulders, it being just below my shoulders, like ugh, I can't think of anything more annoying. But I think if I do something different with like the color, it'll keep me afloat. <laughs> like, like actually do this pops of color that I wanted. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I need to go get some sort of little container because like we have so many SD cards now, like 
For example, this is a regular SD card that just goes in camera, right? I'm sure you've all seen an SD card. These are the ones that go into the big cameras. Like, they are thick, <laughs> crazy swipe. So I have two of those. I have our wide shot, and then I have the audio. I just kind of set them in here for now, but I feel like I want to find like a little tiny, like plastic little container. So that's all just like, I mean, I guess this works. I don't know. It's just taking so long. I want to say I haven't felt those like weird anxiety symptoms since like the other day. So hopefully that's done. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but like I'm 33. I don't need any new anxiety symptoms in my life. Like if anything, get rid of them. Oh, I need to take my Prozac. Good reminder. I think I need to end it here though. I'm so sorry, but it is Tuesday and I need to edit this and I also need to edit this and I just don't know how long all this shit is going to take. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. I will see you on Sunday.